Well, I'm pretty happy that I didn't jump on the, uh, oh, Kim Jong-un is dead bandwagon yesterday. Not last night, but the night before, I started getting texts from people saying, oh my god, Kim Jong-un is dead. Check Twitter. And if you go to Twitter, CNN and NBC were saying, oh my god, Kim Jong-un is brain dead, sources say. And were these sources in North Korea? Uh, no, of course not, because nobody in media has sources in North Korea. I mean, even the CIA doesn't have very many sources in North Korea, but um, I, I guess this is coming from quote-unquote U.S. officials, um, which, you know, is always makes something suspect to me, which is why I didn't really jump on it at first, because, you know, if it's a report only coming from quote-unquote U.S. officials, it could be anything. Because um, as I stated just a couple days ago, I don't remember what I was talking about exactly, but I remember making this point that um, the uh, U.S. intelligence uses their uh, their position as sources for media to uh, dissipate or, or disseminate propaganda. And so something that you know is allegedly a leak from the government um, might just be more of a press release, and that's why uh, you know a lot of uh, um, journalists with uh, let's say more scruples than your average uh, CNN or NBC uh, Pentagon correspondent uh, calls these folks stenographers, not journalists. Because essentially they just write down whatever the CIA tells them and they publish it. And so the CIA says that Kim Jong un is brain dead. Well, there we go. Katie Turr puts it right out Kim Jong un is brain dead. But already we've we've seen this story be pulled back a bit. Katie Turr had to delete her tweet, and I, I just can't stand Katie Turr. I wouldn't trust a word she says. So, um, again, glad I didn't jump on her bandwagon. Um, she is just a, one of – I mean, she's, she's up there with Scott Wapner. I mean, no one is nearly that bad, but I just mean her attitude, the smugness, the, the contempt really does remind me a lot of Wapner. Now, before I get to the updated story um, – Moon of Alabama, which is a blog that many of you might be familiar with, I would give them a, 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 a read if you haven't, or you know if you haven't read them in a while, uh, because uh, over there they had a, a pretty interesting uh, factoid that they discovered. Um, they not using any anonymous sources, just using regular old Google, and uh, they were able to uh, deduce that uh, you know a lot of these news stories that were talking about Kim Jong Un being brain dead were citing a uh, a South Korean news organization. Um, and they didn't specifically say which one in a lot of articles. I noticed CNBC did specifically name them. Uh, they are called the Daily NK, NK of course standing for North Korea. And this is a, a news site that is uh, run by North Korean exiles. And I guess that the, the idea is that they still have friends in, in North Korea who are there that can feed them information and, and so they can keep track of what's going on there. That's um, you know, that's the idea, which sounds pretty interesting and sounds like a pretty great service. You know, if it's if it's real that they do have connections still back in the air home country and they can somehow sneak out information. I don't know how they do that because, I mean, you can't exactly call someone in North Korea on the phone, I don't think. Um, and people there don't have Internet access. So these folks apparently were the first ones to report this, that, uh, uh, that Kim Jong-un is brain dead. Uh, and that, uh, and and something that I really found suspect about this whole story was that um, the, I, the he was supposed to be having heart surgery, and he ended up brain dead. He wasn't having brain surgery. I could understand he was having heart surgery and his heart stopped, but you know if he's having heart surgery, how would he end up brain dead and his heart still fine? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I, another reason why I didn't I did not jump on this yesterday. Well, later yesterday, the Daily NK had to issue a correction and said, actually, uh, JK, guys, uh, Kim Jong-un isn't brain dead. Uh, he just had a heart surgery, and uh, he seems to be recovering quite well. Um, now, if that's not a 180, I don't know what is. And uh, in a pretty satisfying fashion, Katie Turr had to delete her tweet. <laughs> Her great scoop that she got from being, you know, a, a, a real journalist and having sources that she worked hard to earn uh, in the Pentagon. Yeah, that's that went all out the window. She had to flush that tweet down the memory hole. Now, to make matters even more strange, uh, I tried following, you know, going on Google and typing in Daily NK and the top story, of, you know, on Google um, that from this website is their correction. Uh, to the story that Kim Jong Un, uh, you know, was brain dead. Oops, no, he's actually, you know, just recovering fine from his surgery, like you would expect from heart surgery. And uh, the when you click on it, 
I cannot open page. So it looks like they've taken this down. I went on just their their front page, and the you know their website loads just fine. And this story, which you would think would be the top story, it's a correction to a you know saying, "Oops, uh, you know we messed up. The leader of North Korea is not actually dead." Uh, that you would think would be at the top of the page. It wasn't anywhere on the front page that I could find. Um, and so it looks like, and you know, considering that the link was dead, uh, I guess they took that story down. So maybe they're just trying to put the whole thing in behind them. You know, they, they issued their correction, so some people saw that, and then they took it down so that in the future, you know, people wouldn't worry about that. So they're trying not to run. That's a very, um, if nothing else, it sounds like a very, very shady news organization because you're not supposed to pull down a story after you've corrected it. The whole idea of a correction is to correct the record, so you want to leave that up. So based on that alone, this is not a, what I would call a, uh, uh, an organization that lives up to basic journalistic standards, okay? Because at least, uh, even if they stealth edit, um, as, you know, here in, in the West, uh, a lot of our mainstream media will do what's called stealth editing to where they take a story that's wrong, they'll correct it, but then they won't put like a correction at the top of the page or at the end of the story saying, you know, hey, this story used to be different, we were wrong, and now, we're, and now we corrected it to be right, they just correct it. At least they would finally, at the end of the day, have the correct story. They wouldn't just take it down uh, like these folks did because they're, uh, I guess, embarrassed. But it turns out there's more to the story on this Daily NK publication. Uh, Moon of Alabama, uh, I guess, tracked down that these folks are um, actually uh, funded by the NED, which is the National Endowment for Democracy. And those of you who aren't familiar with the NED, they're a uh, uh, particularly sinister organization. Or I shouldn't say sinister. I mean, they're just... Uh, they're exactly what you would expect from uh, the CIA because that's what they are. Uh, if you remember, you know, back in the 70s or so with the Church Commission, I believe it was, um, and other issues that were going on, the CIA was kind of under pressure. And so they had to calm down on a lot of their more egregious acts of overthrowing governments and things. And so they spun off part of their um, part of the CIA into this National Endowment for Democracy, which is supposed to be an NGO, um, a non-governmental organization. Of course, it's entirely funded by the U.S. government and you know U.S. interests. So it is a governmental organization. It's just on paper, it's not the CIA. That's what you can call the NED. Um, <laughs> if you know what are they? They're not the CIA. <laughs> they just do the CIA's old job of trying to fund, uh, you know, people who are um, who would be favorable to the U.S. Um, who are from countries whose governments are not favorable to the U.S. They fund uh, dissident organizations and stuff like that, which again is not altogether a bad thing. But you have to understand why they're doing it. They're, you know, doing it for out of cynical political reasons. Um, you know, because remember, democracy. Uh, is is could just code for uh, you know governments that agree with the United States. You know I'm sure the NED doesn't have a problem at all uh, with Saudi Arabia or the UAE. In fact, uh, the the US Saudis and uh, and the Emiratis ironically fund another uh, organization with democracy in the name. I believe it's Foundation for the Defense of Democracies, which is you know a hilarious. It's funded by monarchies, but I don't I don't want to get into that right now. So the NED uh, funds this Daily NK paper. Of course, I don't. I, I don't think that they're anywhere near, um, you know, funding it entirely. I don't think that all of their annual expenses every year are paid by the NED. But, you know, that money, the fact that any the NED gives them money, um, you know, will kind of, uh, well, it signifies that they are, in a way, a CIA front group. So I find it interesting that both this these two U.S. officials, quote unquote. Um, who are probably CIA, and uh, this CIA-funded paper um, in, in South Korea, both got this story wrong in the exact same way. It almost makes you think that they are um, getting fed the same bullshit. You know, it almost makes me think that the, you know, the sources that uh, this Daily NK paper has in North Korea are really just the CIA, and the CIA f feeds them stuff to publish about North Korea. You know, and normally we're not supposed to see this soft underbelly of the deep state like this or, or how propaganda works and how it's manufactured. But um, because of this screw up to where they, um, you know, said Kim Jong-un was brain dead and then very quickly had to retract it, uh, that um, ended up being helpful in exposing some of this. Because, again, I would have, you know, I never knew about this Daily NK organization uh, because there's just countless and countless organizations that are funded by the NED around the world. You know, like, what, remember Juan Guaido in Venezuela? I talked about the NED back then because, of course, they're involved in all that. So, um, 
if you folks have found anything to the contrary that actually is still saying uh, that Kim Jong Un is brain dead, uh, I'd like to see it because you know it, I, again this is a pretty big story either way. We're gonna know, we're gonna find out one way or the other if he's alive or he's dead. Either there's gonna be a power struggle in North Korea or he's gonna come out and give some speech and be like you know you Americans are, are dumbasses. So with that said, if you gained anything of value out of this video, I'd appreciate you clicking that like button and sharing this video. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe because I do upload every day and I'd hate to have you miss one. So I'll see you folks back here tomorrow.